Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we're starting with a series of numbers as large as we please, and another series of numbers with the same number of numbers in both series. And if we do the um, ratios as he describes two by two, so if A is to B is equal to the ratio of D to E, and if the ratio of B to C is equal to the ratio of E to F, then the ratio from the beginning one, which is A, to the last one, which is C, so the ratio of A to C, will be equal to the ratio of D to F. So how do we prove this? So let's again start with our initial conditions where A to B is equal to D to E and B to C is equal to E to F. Now, if A to B is equal to D to E, then by proposition 13, which was just the previous proposition of this one, then we know that the ratio of A to D is equal to the ratio of B to E. And again, we can have since B to C is equal to E to F, we can again use the same proposition 13 to say that the ratio of B to E is equal to the ratio of C to F. Now let's look here. We have B to E is equal to the ratio of A to D, and B to E is equal to the ratio of C to F. So since this is obviously equal B to E and B to E, then these two ratios must also be equal. So we have that the ratio of A to D is equal to the ratio of C to F. And again, proposition 13, we have this proportion. So if this is true, then the ratio of A to C is equal to the ratio of D to F. Again, proposition 13. And that's it. We have now demonstrated that if we have ratios A to B is equal to D to E, B to C is equal to E to F, then the ratio of A to C is also going to be equal to the ratio of D to F.